graders are out there this morning as well. They're doing more than enjoying a lovely day. Yeah, today they're riding to remember a fellow cyclist, and Carla has a story from South Mountain. Carla, we saw so many cyclists out there. Yeah, you did, and they've all already made their way up here to South Mountain. Some of them are actually, you can see there, are coming back down from South Mountain. Over 500 of them. It was a pretty spectacular view that we had there earlier. They were escorted by Phoenix Police up Central Avenue here to South Mountain. Now, the organizers of this memorial bike ride, they say this is the biggest bike ride in Arizona's history. It was a week ago today that Rob Dollar, 36-year-old Rob Dollar, was hit while riding his bike here at South Mountain. The driver, according to police records, was impaired under the influence of marijuana and alcohol. 36-year-old Rob Dollar died from his injuries that he sustained last Sunday. That was around 10.30 this morning. He was here riding his bike on this very road where we stand here today. Now, the driver, 19-year-old Analia Dominguez, she is facing several charges, including driving impaired. She is out on bond on a $2,500 bond, and she has an appearance tomorrow morning. We spoke earlier with some of these bikers, and they tell us they plan on going to her court appearance tomorrow morning and making a plea to the judge that that bond should be raised so that she is held behind bars and not uh, put someone else's life in danger. Again, these bikers here this morning waking up early, making the trail up to South Mountain and back down to Central Phoenix to remember their friend and their colleague, 36-year-old Rob Dollar. We'll have more on this later on today at 5 o'clock right here on Arizona's Family. For now, reporting live at South Mountain, I'm Carla Navarrete. Back to you, ladies, in the studio. Carla, thank you.